you are now tuning into Embracing My Markings with your girl, Maribel Kings, where we dive into topics of self-growth, pain, trauma healing, and generational curses through many individuals sharing their life experiences in hopes to empower others through their experience sharing. Always stay connected through EmbracingMyMarkings.com. So welcome back, Bayas. Today we have the very sexy, sensual, handsome <laughs> the one and oh. only big mo let's give him a round of applause oh shut up <laughs> y'all stay y'all stay having me blushing like this yes <laughs> so big mo welcome to embracing my markings podcast <laughs> thank, thank you, you for, for having me here. thank you for having me i you know you know we we are from the I'm not as stinky as you drunk I am podcast. You know, we always we're good friends of this show. So yeah, you know, I've, I've listened. I saw, of course, I saw the one with Vu, yes. and the ones with Cat. Love them. So I was like, yeah, I was like, these are great women. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, you're so girls. sweet. Thank you. You're very sweet. And we had a blast last week. We I was did. Gone, gone. I was if you guys gone. have not <laughs> gone over to check them out, you guys are missing out. Again, I'm going to put it here on the screen for them to head over to you guys. Funny, so entertaining. I just, I love hearing you guys and I love the yeah. little intro. So can you do your intro, Mo? What are, what, can, <laughs> what can the ladies expect? Yes. This, this is Big Mo, best in the world, baby. <laughs> okay. So let's start off with that, Big Mo. So. I thought I had already been stalking you on social media. Mm -hmm. And then I find out, like, I actually went to your bio. Mm -hmm. And I find out that you are a singer. Yes, I am. <laughs> and you had me grooving, no grooving <laughs> this whole weekend. I'm obsessed. I subscribed on YouTube. I subscribed on Spotify, on my Apple Music. Like, now you have a fan right here. I'm right here. That I means a ton. You. <laughs> that that means a ton. It's all that's like I always say that's like the biggest compliment when when someone's enjoying my music. That's really all I ask Aww. for. Um yes. I, I, I'm gonna go check it out after this. Yes, Me this too. Is, this is something I've been doing for a long a very, very long time. So and, uh, I saw, I saw, and, I, I'm telling yeah. you, I stalked you. I went on in, on um, YouTube and I was like, oh, he's been doing covers and he's been doing, like, not only yeah. can he sing, but you also play instruments. Yes. Wow. Uh, yes. <laughs> Hello, um, Mo. I've, I've been into, I am, I'm, I'm 31 right now. But I've been You're playing. Young. Yes, I thought he was younger. Yes, yeah. You're what? Young. I, <laughs> oh my god! I, wow. I, I do, yeah, I have a. I do have a baby face and a soft tone voice. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh my god! I'm in yeah. shock. I'm in shock right now because you do not look 31, Mo. I could have sworn no. if somebody would have asked me, I'm like, oh, he's like 25, 26. I was gonna, I was gonna guess 25. Yeah, I was gonna guess 25. Yeah. Yeah, I, I get that a lot. <laughs> I, I like, I look back at my high school pictures and I'm like, oh my god, I look exactly the same. <laughs> you know what? Wow. That's when they say. Yeah. That's when they say. Hopefully, this is not like an offense, but that's when they say black doesn't crack. I'm mm -hmm. just saying, I wish I was black because <laughs> not only is it beautiful to have like darker skin, I always yeah, wanted yeah. a tan. We always, we always want to get tanned and it doesn't work. I just burn. Yes. Uh -huh. I look like a, I look like a shrimp, but also yeah. you guys just look so young. You guys don't age. Yes. It's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wish I knew what to do about that. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I don't use anything either. Like I just, it, this was just like I don't know. That's just, Especially my voice. Just I was just, yeah. Okay, so how does it, it feel to be God's favorite? Um, feels pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, um, I want, I want to, um, and go ahead, Twinsy. Oh, I was gonna say I have a question. Uh, so, what kind of music do you say? Is it R and B? Is it rapping? What, what is it? I actually, it's a, it's an interesting story behind it. Um, okay. 
I came from R and B, and like Ooh, as as favorite. I was growing that's one of my up, favorite. as I was growing up, and I've been singing since I was about thirteen. Um, I come from a and I come from a family of music, especially on my mom's side, <gasps> and um, I've been learning singing and engineering and. But throughout the many years, I've been learning about just r and I've been studying r and You know, r and has always been my thing. Now, I know I'm talking as if it's in past tense because mm-hmm. it is. Yes. Um, because it was as of, uh, I believe it was late 2019, but really took an effect like early to mid 2020. Um, I actually reverted to doing Latin music. Instead, Ooh. and I yes. like it. I <laughs> like it. So his his most recent song that you guys need to go and find on any platform, right, Mo? Because yes, I found it on platforms. Apple easily. I found it on yes. Spotify very easily. Yes, um, Zulia. Now, yes. does Zulia yep. mean something? Um, Zulia is actually a province in Venezuela. Oh, okay. Yes. Nice. I thought it was um, a girl. I'm all over here like Bobby, <laughs> and I'm like, maybe he's singing to a girl. I wasn't sure. Uh, <laughs> I, it, because you know, you know, I am say, like saying as Sully as if she's a woman, but mm-hmm. you know, the but the um the foundation behind the name is the fact that it's on the province in Venezuela. Oh, um, okay. In my theme, and I'm, and I actually, and this is also going to answer a previous question and this question at the same time. Okay. Um, because I'm going to peel back a few layers. If yes, okay. yes, please do, please, please do, please, please. Okay. This is um, all about you. We want to know. <laughs> you. We want to know, okay. Big Mo. Yes. So, I also dance a lot. <laughs> Nice. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, a lot. Yes. I think that's just and in the Caribbean blood. It, that, yeah. yeah. That's that's absolutely yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. It's, it's I grew up just 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 Caribbean. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Um. And those times I would make dancing videos. And around t- late 2019. Um, I had a dance video that ended up um, getting viral across Latin American countries. Wow, that's awesome. Um, and I ended up getting a lot of love from almost every country in Latin America. And, and and I also had came out with an R&B song. Okay. It was called Walk Away, which is also available on all platforms. And I ended up getting a bunch of messages of, oh, uh, I, I love your song. Uh, me encanta tu canción, pero no entiendo nada. That's what's in English. I'm like, and I, I just kept getting a bunch of them. Like, and I'm like, oh, okay. and I'm, I'm like, what, what's, what's, all right, yo, like, yo, y'all, are, you guys, you know, I'm not even trying to, but you guys are listening to my song. But mm. it's like, it's like, oh, I love your voice. Uh, me encanta tu voz. I always get that second sentence. Like, yeah, yeah. like I always said, oh, good song. Oh, I love it. But I don't understand nothing. I love, oh, so nice like, voice. Like, I don't understand. I'm like, Damn. and then that's when the light bulb came to my head. You're like, let me do something about that. I, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> that's exactly what I said. I was like, I need to do something about this. And then I yes. said, I'm going. And then I was already learning Spanish. I, I, I don't know if I, if I even went too ahead. So if it's a future question. No. But yes. Well, I mean, <laughs> no, but go ahead. Go ahead. Answer it. Okay. Answer it. Answer it. I was I was learning Spanish since about 2015. Wow. Oh wow. I, um, I thought you spoke Spanish like I your mean whole I didn't life. even think you spoke No. Right. But I didn't even think you spoke Spanish at all until you mentioned it right now before we <laughs> started recording. Yeah. So. <laughs> like I said, it's it's never it's not a wrong assessment. I'm yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Haitian yeah. from both parents. Like yeah. Um, I was born in a predominantly Haitian city, you know. Where was that? Where was English. that? It's in North Miami, Florida. Yeah. North Miami. Okay. Yes. And that was another question that I was going to ask you, because I know you live in Miami, but is it, were yes. you born there? And so you are, you're yes. native there. Yes. Oh my God. And so the area I grew up in was always, I either heard English or Creole, not, not Spanish. So yeah, yeah, that's yeah. why that. That's why I always say I'm like when people are confused of how I know Spanish, you're not wrong. 
<laughs> you are not wrong. <laughs> um, and so I'm going to bring a little back. Um, so I, I, so I said, okay, I'm, I've already, I'm already, I've already been learning Spanish. Uh-huh. I'm going to write a song in Spanish. You and write your own stuff? Yes. <gasps> yeah. That's even wow, that's I mean, amazing. You okay, so you're like a th- yes. triple threat. You're like, and well, yeah, more than you that, because you have so many more right? other talents. Wow. And I'm also a music engineer. Yes. So I record and I mix all my songs like so all the songs I made was through wow. my by my own hands. You are so talented. Wow, Big Mo. Big Mo. We are in Thank presence you. of a legend. Yes. In the, yes. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh mm-hmm. my God. Okay. This is very impressive. So, like honestly, when I think about people that sing and write music, I always think, how would like I mean, not that I even have a good voice to begin with, but <laughs> you know, like just to even think like to make music, they make music out of anything and they just vibe and they're like, all right, put this in. All right, let's do this now. All right, let's put it together. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that yep. sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And that is exactly how it happens. So. Wow. So, so, That's yeah. crazy. So you have, um, you have a talented ear. Yes. Yeah. Oh my God! Oh, this is and amazing. Boys. Oh and my God! Mine. Okay. Yeah, your whole package. Yes. You dance, you sing, Hello. You write. Okay. So, quick question. And, quick question. Porque yes. it is bien canijo. I've seen you. Mm-hmm. Estás casado? No. No. Soltero. Soltero. Como, what? Como canijo. How? <laughs> Are you serious? Are you just not looking like? You've been so focused in your career. Um, that's the main thing, you know. Um, I've I've just been focused on myself, bettering myself. Um, you know, I I, I do have, you know, I do have dreams and goals to be married one day. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but you're like, that's the, gonna the most, come once I achieve the, where I want to be. Because the most important thing is I want to be able to take care of my uh, my future wife and my future family. And Aww. I want to make sure they have the best possible and to make sure that by the time my children are born, they're in a good situation. Oh, my God. So, Aww. Yeah. Big Mo. You're Mo, amazing. I just. So, oh, yeah. my God. So, you are the order, sweetest. And, yeah. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you. I can just picture you like I could just picture you singing to your wife, you know. Like, <laughs> so cute. Wow. You whoever the girl is, she's lucky. I'm calling it. I'm calling it. Yes. So uh, I, I I would say so, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I could just imagine how amazing your parents himself, are. Yeah. Huh? Sorry, Twinsy, go ahead. No, I said he's just great. Go ahead. Sorry, I forgot it <laughs> um i said i could just imagine how amazing your parents are are you an oh, only they, child no i'm um, actually youngest out of three more two and a half two and a, <laughs> why are we counting the whole yeah, how how, what's work? going on with the yeah. half yeah. um Twist? when i was very young i found out i had an older brother <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. I was like, wait, mm-hmm. are you talking to like oh, little person? Half? But <laughs> and and but you know, I, and we got to finally live together. I think by the time I was about seventeen. Oh, that's cool. And oh, me and him, we still yeah. have a good relationship today. You know, we still love each other. So, well, yeah, that's um, your that's but, your you sibling, know. no matter what. Yeah, I don't course. believe in halves. I mean, even though you might not share the same both, we don't. Parents, yeah, we but. don't. We don't say, and I don't say half either. Yeah, you no. know, I I do say brother. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. you know, just for the context, context of the up for the audience. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, <laughs> yeah. okay. And, um, but you're the baby. And, uh, but. Yes, and my and an an older sister, you know, grew up with. So, yeah, you know, yeah. I mean, me and her, you know, yeah. we still have a good relationship today. How many years oh, apart are great. you guys? Three. Oh, okay, that's not bad. Yes, that's not bad. Sister, wow. yes. Oh, yeah, that's, that's cool. why he's good mm. with women. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Chulo, chulo. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> me, I don't know. Yes. <laughs> My sister did teach me a lot, you know. So, um, you know, I, I do have to credit her because being good with women is something that I have to credit my sister on. Yes. Um, yeah. She taught me a lot. She taught me, you know, how to 
protect myself and how to understand. And, you know, she was also a blueprint of like the type of wife I ideally want and I'm um, hopefully look for. Oh, yes. So, yes. Uh, Great. Yes. That's great. So, um, the, so as I was growing up, I just, you know, the more I grew up, the more I appreciated her. Oh, yeah. I always make sure I she love really that. Yes, I credit my brothers for helping me choose the partner that I chose in life because they taught me not what, like, what to avoid. <laughs> yes. <laughs> which is, same which here. is, the, I want to say, same here. Which is the best way? Same here. Yes. 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 Um. So, Oh, my God. OK, so you grew up in Miami. You started singing mm -hmm. at 13. Where did yes. you start singing? Was it like in school, in church? Um, It was something I. I, I really got it from my mother, especially her side of family, but, you know, directly my mother, because she's also a singer and she's been singing her whole life. Oh. And. She has a, and her whole family's musician from her father. And I think out of like, she has like 15 brothers and sisters and half of them are musicians and singers. Oh my God. 15? Yeah. Yes. Wow. Oh, I know. grandma, wow. grandma, poor thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh my God. Okay. They, didn't, they didn't have Girl, TV back then. <laughs> apparently not. <laughs> I was going to say that and they probably didn't even have, it. she probably had all kids naturally because that's the way my grandma was. She had 12 kids and they were all bored at the house, you know. You know In Haiti. So they were kind of like. They were in Haiti. Yeah, they, they wouldn't go. Yeah, they would. Yeah, they wouldn't go to the hospital. They would just have them at home, right? Yes, and, and call the neighbor. Yeah, too? yeah. Call the yeah. neighbor. Oh, so neighbor, bring bring a bunch of towels. Bring a bunch of sabanas. <laughs> <laughs> Was, um, apparently yeah. my my grandfather was really handsome. It was it was hard to get his hand. It's hard to get hands off of him. So those Caribbean <laughs> men, Caribbean men, you guys are. Angels on heaven. I'm just. I mean, on heaven. We know I can't even get. I can't even get my words right. Angels oh, on earth. Hold on. Every time are I you, have big mouth. No, but I'm getting a little hot <laughs> over here. You guys are so handsome. Shucks. <laughs> I love. You're having me blushing. Oh, oh God! You're having me blushing. Look at me. I'm starting to look like a shrimp. Oh yeah, yeah. Husband, don't listen to the rest of this, please. Of course. Of course. I'm, I mean, uh, allegedly, of course. Allegedly. Well, alleg <laughs> no, but um, so. Do you go back to to Haiti and visit? Do you still have family out there? Um, at least not that I, I think only a very small handful, a um, majority of them are, cause majority of them are already here in America. Oh, nice. Oh, that's great. So, yeah. I'm happy um, to be here. Uh, and I think I only went to Haiti between only 14 and 17, but that was it. And I loved my experience. So yes. I loved it. It was beautiful. Probably one of the most beautiful experiences it, you've had. Yeah. Oh yes. my god! That's I would really want to go cool. back. If I want to go you. there. Yeah, yeah. It's the oh my, the beaches. The the water's so blue. Oh my! It's, blue the food and is the, so pure. Yes. Everything the like the fruit to, is amazing. Oh, everything's just pure. Like, and it to this day, I always love anything that's like close to as traditional as possible. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, you get to and, appreciate it. Yes, I'm, I'm sure because you didn't grow up with it there. You know, you were born and raised in Florida and therefore yes. basically just whatever your parents would tell you. But when you got to visit it, it's kind of like, oh, this is where I'm from. You know, like yeah. <laughs> the roots just like came out and you're like, this is, you know, this is where I'm from. This is yeah, cool. I would, oh, I'm so jealous. I want to go there. It was, <laughs> it's so, great. So, and I know we're kind of going back and forth, but I'm like, <laughs> hold on, hold on. Yeah. Um, so how did you learn that you could write music or what inspired you to start writing music? Oh, psh, I, I don't know, I'm thinking summer single digit age. Really? Um, oh, wow. Um, Not young, huh? I, I, I liked writing a lot of poems and... Oh. And, and then you put it, it into that and it's the song exactly 
I, th- I, I think I, I was, and I would just listen to music all the time. I listen to R&B all the time. And, you know, I would have, you know, a little crush on classmates Aww. and I would write about it. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. So, that would be your inspiration. Yes. So Aww. by the, by the time I was like in high school, I just, I didn't even need to have a crush on anyone. I, I could just find an inspiration just off, just off random thinking. Wow. And oh, even to great. this, even to this day, I can make a song sound so personal and people be like, well, who, who's this about? I'm like, no, no. Well, like Zulia, I'm telling you, I had it on the whole weekend Probably when I get off of this call, I'll still have it on. And, you know, and I even showed my husband because my my husband's a big fan of you guys, um, of the podcast that you guys do. And so I'm like, that's Big Mo. And he's like, wait, he sings? And I'm like, yes. it seems like he's pretty talented because I saw that you were also a music engineer. And I was like, oh, my God, like, how did you get into that? Like, did you go to did you end up going to school for music or mm, you just I like, actually didn't. Oh wow! Um, I was, oh, you, it's, you know, it's just screw, huh? Is is diff- it was different. It it's a partly a hardship story, mm. um, because you know I've always I've always was learning engineering like since high school and, mm. um, and my mom had colleagues who were you know music producers and engineers, and helped her build like you know startup equipment, oh. and I would just like put my hands in and learn it on the side. And I just ended up falling in love with it. And I would, now the part where the hardship story is, you know, there were schools that I was trying to get into, like engineering schools. Um, and multiple times throughout many years, I would get like financially like declined, re- like financially uh, rejected. No way. That sometimes brings you down and yes. you make you want to give up. But you continued. And that's I, great. Look at what I you're was doing like, now, you know, I was like, screw it. I'm just going to find a way, continue work around, mm-hmm. just learn what I need to learn, network however I can. Um, and uh, yeah, just just network however I can just keep learning. It maybe it's going to take longer. Well, it's just going to have to take longer. Oh, well, just just do it. Just keep learning, keep practicing. So throughout years, I've gotten better and better. And then. You know, while, you know, while I'm working, any extra money I would make would go to the next upgrade in my equipment. Aww. Wow, that's how, it, that's how it happens. Yes. That's how it happens when you have a dream. I, like 20, I love when you had a dream, you put money into it and you make it grow. Yes. If something stops you, you try to go around that hurdle. You know, mm-hmm. like you have to do what you have to do to get where you want to be. Which is why even the quality of music that you know people hear today. This I can look at each equipment and each sound that I bought, and I can remember which year I got it. This well, is, because you put so much and effort it, and time and money into it. It, it was that, and it was slow. It took a long, a long time. Um, but it was like a milestone, I, I would yeah. think. You know. Yes. Well, not only that, but I think it's beautiful, and I love the fact that you said, you know, you didn't give up because it's very easy to give up. It's very easy to be like, you know what, this is not going anywhere. And but the fact that you were able to see beyond school and say, hey, that's not the only way that I can do it. I can do it another way. And sometimes those are our biggest blessings. I feel because, like you said, yeah. mm-hmm. you know, music, you know it. I'm I'm sure like the back of your hand. And yes. and you've learned so much, probably more than what you would have at school. Probably, yeah. um, probably faster, or mm, probably more. You, uh, you were able to focus more on the things that you like than what school would have gone by. Maybe I'm guessing. Realistically, I probably would have learned faster mm-hmm. in the school. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, I don't. I don't. I try not to dwell in that idea. Mm, right. um, I just think I'm now. Now, to, in the days of today, you know, I, I made it through the worst times and the, the, most, the most difficult moments. And I put it in um, and for a long time, you know, I, I, I would I would just say for, for many and and these and I'm talking many years where <clears throat> I'm telling people, hey, this is my dream. This is my goal. <clears throat> Excuse me. To be a singer, to be an artist, music engineer. And anyone would ask me, well, what do you have to show for it? And really the answer was nothing. 
Mm-hmm. And so, so I'm thinking, so thinking, well, 2000, you could go to any year, you know, just had nothing to show for it. So, and when I was really super serious about it, like what, 2011, 2012, 13, 2014, 2015, 16, 17, 18, mm-hmm. and all these years throughout all, many years, what did you have to show for it? Absolutely nothing. But I knew my to myself to that I knew I, I'm not I know I'm not crazy. I know I'm not insane. Just keep building and just keep believing, keep having that faith, keep putting in the work, keep getting better. Even if you have absolutely jack squat to show for it. I'm trying to keep it a little clean here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a safe space. You can curse if you want, if you want yeah. to. <laughs> yeah. Even yeah. if you had absolutely nothing to show for it. Yeah. Keep grinding. And, you know, one of the biggest sparks was that dan- viral dancing video that got, that caught wind in Latin America. And awesome. that was one, of, that was actually one of the first lights at the end of the tunnel when I went through years of being in the tunnel with the, everything being pitch black oh. and I was yeah. like in many years I'm like I'll do anything just for a small light oh. and and that, that was, was your actually, little light yes that was the little wow. light and oh. and and then that's and then there was also a light bulb on top of my head I'm like start making music in Spanish which was the most difficult challenge I've ever been through as a songwriter because I didn't I didn't think of a concept of asking someone else to write it nor nor the money was just went to my equipments oh. and and then that's when I started realizing words in English if you translate it to Spanish these words don't rhyme no <laughs> no. Yeah, no, it's, it's no it's a whole different thing <laughs> yeah but I feel Sometimes like in Spanish you makes sense in Spanish, it's more meaningful. The words are it just is. more, I don't know. I feel they're more passionate. Yeah. Passionate, more there you go. With feeling. Yeah. yeah. Passionate with feeling. And so, and I, hotter. Sorry, sorry, Mo. I'm going to interrupt you go real ahead. quick. So, like, for that song, Sulia, that I love. So, you went ahead and put the beat together with the lyrics. You did all that? Not the beat. Oh, okay, okay. The beat was by someone else. That, um, it was another producer I worked at. at you know, that actually worked in, you know, we just did, biz- it was a business, we did business. And oh, okay, okay. So, so to make sure I could still like own the rights to this, yeah, so to be, yeah. able, be allowed to put on, put it out there. But other than that, the writing was me, um, the recording was me, engineering was me, clean up, mixing and master was me. Um, wow. So everything, everything you, everything else you hear besides the beat, that was all me. <sighs> Oh my god! Yes. I love it. Oh, that's pretty. I'm, I'm, that's you know what? I'm gonna inspiring. try. I'm gonna try. Hopefully, you guys are hearing in in the background. I'm gonna try to put it in the background. If that's cool <laughs> with you, I mean, monetization <laughs> would go to you anyways. Yes. So, and Sulia was actually my very second song that I wrote in Spanish. Yes. So. Oh. I saw when I went back mm-hmm. and I was like, oh, my God. So I thought it was all. And then, no, I noticed that you had done R&B before and you had done mm-hmm. some covers like at the beginning. And yes. I was like, oh, OK, but I love your voice. So you guys just go check them out, please. <laughs> Thank you. You guys are missing and out. By, if you the don't. Way, by the way, Sulia sounds close to Sylvia. So when I listen to that song, I'm going to think you're singing to me. Okay, okay, you know what? You better stop flirting with him. Leave Mo alone, okay? I know I can't claim him, but hey. Allegedly. <laughs> no, not like that, but I was saying, I know. it does sound like Sylvia, so. Yeah. Don't worry, I, I understood what you meant. <laughs> and, but you um, know what? Also, yes. what I want to say is that I, what really inspires me is because honestly, a lot of things have stopped me from doing things that I want because they say, oh, you need this. You need that. You miss, you need this type of schooling. And then I'm like, oh, whatever. I give up, you know, but the fact that you didn't give up and you kept going and going around, going through a lot, all the hardships that you went through just to get where you want to be. That's very inspiring. Big Mo. Thank you so much. You know, um, you know, I, and I, I always say, you know, and 
I'm going to open up a little bit. Yes, please. Yes, please, please. Um, this is your safe space. Open up about whatever you want. Thank you. Thank you. You know, there's a, I've had many nights where for first, even I'll say before 2020. Okay. Um, throughout those many years that I've mentioned, like I said, especially like, like it really got the most discouraging. 2014 was like where it got the most discouraging. The hardest. That that was the, the well, that was a starting point. Mm-hmm. And 2014, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. You know, that's what I really was like. That was like where I was most like passionate about my dream, but I had nothing to show for it. And certain circumstances I had to deal with moving around almost just about every year. And, and as so, so there was times I would, I would like, just when I think thought I had my studio finally up, I had to take it down. Mm. Um, mm. And, or, and just to, just to be able to move or just when I think, you know, I got, I was able to afford the next equipment, something happens and I got to prioritize getting, you know, my head above water and, you know, still being passionate, still not wanting to give up. Um, and I was just like, man, I just want to, I just want to make it and just want to work on my craft. Like this is, this is just, that's all I want to do is it's such a crime. <laughs> and, yeah. and then, you know, but s- still sticking through it, sticking, sticking with, you know, staying, with, staying faith, st- um, Maintaining like, the faith. Like maintaining the faith. Thank you. Yeah. Um, and then seeing that that light, that that little bit of light, and having having a little extra time to be able to work on my music, finally having like my equipments together to be able to work up, make it the quality that I always intended to be. Mm-hmm. And you know that there's even. Even to this day, not long ago, there's times I, I cry a lot because, no. you know, I, but now these are like happy tears because one of the best things I was able to tell myself was I'm, I was so proud of myself that I never gave up and I, and I, and, and I was right for never giving up. Mm-hmm. And that's the proudest yeah, moment I told myself. You know, because yes. so many years I thought I was crazy. I thought I was insane. And I'm like, no, I don't, I don't think I'm crazy, but am I? <laughs> no. You know, it was so no. many years of just self-questioning. And, but I said, just, just keep going. You'll never know. Like, yes. so the fact that I was right to never give up is probably the proudest, the proudest thing I've, I've ever been able to tell myself. Yes. Let's give him a round of applause for that. Thank you. Thank you. That is definitely very admirable because they say, you know, we think about the end goal. Right. And it seems so far away when you're struggling, when you're at the beginning of it, when nobody believes in you and they tell you you're crazy or doors start closing on you. And you're like, but I believe in this. This is my passion. And you push through all that and then you start seeing the fruits of your labor. And it's like, yes. oh, my God. And now I'm pretty sure now do you feel like anything is possible? Yes. Yeah, so like now it's like I, re- I truly believe there's nothing anyone can tell me. Like, yes. you know, to know that I was right all along all these years. Like I'm, I'm I was shocked at my own self. Yeah. Like, man, I was right. Like, yes. what? <laughs> isn't, you know, isn't that the best? Isn't that the best when you think that you can't do something, then you get it done, then you're like, Woo-hoo! yes. yes. Um, <laughs> so, a big and, and, question. And, and, I, and, and then, um, you know, I do want to question. I'm not sorry, question. Um, <laughs> I do want to credit, um, you know, my, my, the guys in my close circle, the union. Um, in union union season, you know, these are guys that really, they were the very few people that truly like, they knew, even though I had nothing to show for it, they, they just, they saw something and they truly still believed and they, you know, they stayed faithful with me. Aww, so that, that you know, matters. I, it I, takes I a village. Them. That's your little yes. village. So, and, and I've had people who I've worked with where, 
you know, um, I'm I'm going to mention some of his. He yes, is actually please. one of my yeah, close please. cousins. His name is his name is Stan. Stan. Okay. Yes. Shout out or, to um, Stan. Or, or, or um, aka um, SP snapped. Oh, okay. Yeah. Shout uh, out to you. A, Thank you, cousin, for that support. He's, he, he's a yes. he's a per, he he's my he was a he's a personal photographer and videographer. We invested wow. in we inv- we both invested together in his equipments and his upgrades. Nice. And I, I'll never forget that night. It was around 2017, and I had a talk with him, a, a serious talk for hours. And I was like, "I need you. Oh, I yeah. need you." And and teamwork I, makes the dream work. Exactly. And same thing with um my. Um, another close cousin of mine, Bills, who, and, you know, he's the one who we grew together at both as engineers and who's also a producer and, and one of my right hand mans, Fritz. Shout out you know, to he, him. He, he's just yeah. always one of the, he's just one of the greatest guys. And, you know, he was my, one of the best cheerleaders. So shout out to the I whole union. It. Yes. Thank you guys. Shout out to it. them. I love it. Yes. Cheers to them. Yes. I see you pouring your shot. <laughs> it's so essential for you to surround yourself with people that believe in you and that push you, that motivate you, that don't give up on you, even when you give up on yourself, that remind you. Is that for you? Yeah. Am I that for you, Twinsy? Yes, you are. <laughs> That's why I'm so vocal and I say I love my Twinsy because, you know, no. there's been times where I've wanted to give up on the podcast and I'm like, ah. Oh. And I just want to give up. And she's like, stop it. Like, I'm going to go and <laughs> slap you and, you know, get you back to reality. But- I keep it real with her. Because the way if you don't, if you're like, stop it, wake up. Yes. <laughs> you know, that's not a real friend. You got to exactly. get slapped by your exactly. real friends. Because she calls me out. like, you can do this. Mm-hmm. Snap out of it. Yes. And you have to keep going. Yes. And, you know, I'm now I'm glad I can use myself as an example. Or this is what happens when you keep going, even if it's years of nothing to show for it. You know, you'll, you'll be surprised get there what, one day. Eventually, exactly. you'll, you'll get, get there. One day. You'll be surprised on what happens. And, you know, so, and it's for for most people, for some people, it's not going to be like many years like me. You know, I also had circumstances and situations and obstacles. That's why it, it took all, years. It all, That's why it took all those years. Depends. I feel like it depends how much you're able to put into it. Not by wanting, but also by about what what's around you. Whether you mm-hmm. whether if you're having financial issues, it, it all depends. You know, everybody yes. has a different situation. And I feel like the longer it takes you, the sweeter the reward is. Oh, oh yeah. The sweeter it is. Oh. And I remember. So don't give up. I am a big basketball person. I love watching basketball. And I remember Kobe Bryant's last, um, when he was retiring, the last Mm -hmm. speech that he gave, he goes, everybody's just talking about the end plan. But reality is the dream is when you're in it, when you're struggling, when you're pushing through that, like that's the good part. Because yes. once you have it, then you could just sit back and enjoy it. You know what I mean? And not really sit back, but yeah, puedes descansar un poquito más, you know? Yeah. But talking about your struggles and the, the guys that were there for you, how did your family support you or were they supporting you during this time? Mm-hmm. Um, early on, they, a lot of them were actually my biggest discouragers. Mm. Um, and Sometimes it can be like that. Yeah. And and it, it I considered it one of the most heartbreaking moments. Mm. Um, even sometimes to this day, most of my family they still don't even know. Really? Um, yes. They still don't I even think, know that you sing. Yes. Or the wow like, that I was really serious about it. Well, right, they're right, kind right. of taking notice now, but you know, you're not baby. That's yeah. why. <laughs> <laughs> and um. You know, I've already had a talk with a lot of them. Well, well, especially the immediate family. I've already, like my mother, father, mm-hmm. sister. Um, I've already had that, like a talk with them. You know, we and we've, you know, we've already had our reconciliations. No, oh, that's nice. Um, so, which I would have rather that way. You know, I don't. No one wants to have a. But those times I had to power through without them. 
Mm -hmm. Um, And I think my mom was, my mother was actually one of the first to like actually crack and be like, I think you're really serious about this. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah. Um, We know. We know. Yeah. I'm a boy mom. (laughs) So yes. we're both boy moms. So yes. we, we know. I think so she, it, she still and she was one of the ones that still had faith early when I still like even dur- like like probably probably definitely not probably definitely the longest time. Well, because she's your number one fan. Yes. <laughs> but I think it's and, hard for us parents. And I kind of want to dive into this a little bit more because I think it's such an important topic for us to discuss and I don't know if it's you know us that are Caribbean Latinos Hispanic Mm -hmm. Spaniards like no sé si es la cultura but -hmm. it could be very hard for our parents to understand us trying to achieve our dreams because I was just having this conversation with my younger brother because he hasn't found his passion yeah he hasn't found his passion and he has a very good stable job And my dad and my mom do not support him, you know, following whatever his passion is because they're like, you're stable. You have, you know, health care, you have benefits, you have a 401k, you're stable, you're good. And I'm like, look, from the point of view, if you see it from things from where our parents came from, they didn't have that stability. They didn't have that option to go after their dreams because they had to uh, provide for their families. You know, my parents were immigrants to this family and they struggled a lot. And so when they see us maybe not stable in a job with benefits, with the 401k, with health mm-hmm. insurance, it's like, ¿Qué estás haciendo? like, what are you doing? No, like, get, get serious. Like, I didn't bring you to this country for you to <laughs> ruin it by, you know, doing whatever you want to do. Yeah. Um, do you think... Do you think that was your parents' perspective? Um, I know my father was definitely like, you know, just have, even if it's not a the most stable, but just make enough to work until you're old and tired. So we can make, I, have something secure. Yes. And I always felt that I was more than that. Yes. And it wasn't, and to my dad, it wasn't even like a, it, it wasn't even like a, a big, goal not even have a big goal at all Mm. um so he was the he was a he was the toughest one to get through um and you know there was there was a lot of it it created a lot of resentment between me and him um you know so we we didn't have the best relationship for long for very long literally not up until very recent Really? Yes. And, 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 and that was still, and I still objectively gave my father a lot of credit still because he wasn't an absentee father. Mm. You know, he, you know, he, he, he did the best he could. He, you know, he busted his tail, mm-hmm. you know, to take care of the family. He was just tough, I'm sure, right? Yeah. He was just and, tough, I, and I was, and I was and I was okay. And I, and I didn't have a problem with the toughness. Mm-hmm. Now I gave him credit. I actually I, I credit him for the, t- the toughness. You're strong. Part. You're yeah. strong because of him. Yes. So, yeah. But I can but relate the, to that. To all, have the same relationship with my mom. All I'd say, I'd say the only thing I asked was, you know, just don't think about getting in my way of my passion. Mm. That was all I asked. And he can be as tough as he wants. He could be as mean as he wants. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> was, you just know. don't get in my way yes wow. and he was looking to do that so so was that said, since you were to, a little boy Mo? no it that, happened you know, once, you, little, once you were following when, your dreams yes oh okay okay so um you, you know why i think some parents do that maybe what? because they're scared i mean i i can somewhat maybe imagine to why he was like that maybe because he was scared of you not getting to where you want to be and he yes. was he just didn't want you to be disappointed or to feel like you you couldn't do your dreams and i think he was just trying to like protect you from that yes. and told you no 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 you gotta focus you gotta have like a nine to five you gotta 
work hard. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, which was exactly yeah you, you, which was i that's actually that's actually probably one of the best conclusions that i came up with i, I said something around that's, that that's, yeah. like that was that they, was they the same scared for failure they were scared Sim, for you yeah. to fail and they, they were afraid but then again it's like let them be if they fail you're there to catch them yeah you know that's that's the way i'm trying to be with my son I, because he's I, 15 and, but it is hard and, and I, under, I understand it's hard and, and i understand you know not to fault my father too much and not to hold right. too much against him mm-hmm. because right. by the end of the day, I would have preferred to have a good relationship with him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm also going to point out my sister as well because she was another one. Um, and which that was even the, even, that was even the most heartbreaking oh because God. she was my second mother Yeah. when my parents would work double Mm-hmm. Like she was damn near changing my diapers when she was three years old. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. I yeah. believe it. Me too. I believe it. I, I believe it too because I have a brother that's three years older than me, and me and him were like this. We would mm. fight a lot, but we would be like this. Like, yeah, you know. That's I, I always say to this day, like you know, it was no wonder she's such a good mother and a good wife because she's had practice since <laughs> since <laughs> she was still. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So it, it was so the fact that you know she has three beautiful daughters and she takes care of them so well, but oh. but really she's had practice her whole life on me. <laughs> oh. So wait, are you and, the favorite Theo? Yeah. Oh, oh. that's so especially, sweet. Especially, especially to the oldest one. Mm. Yeah, there's a special bond right there. Yeah, yeah. there's. Yeah. But but I still but I still love all three just as much. Of so. course. Oh, of course, of course. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But there's always something um, with the oldest one. To this day, I think I'm closest it's, it's, to my oldest nephew. It, it's also it's also because um, when she was married to her husband, they had a you know financial circumstance. You know it yeah. is what it is. Yes. And they moved. They had to move back with the par- um with our parents. Mm-hmm. And so they were there all. They were they were there with you the whole time. And. Yes, and you know, th- and during that time that happened, that's when her first child was was just being was just being born. Aww. Um, like she was still she was still pregnant when she was actually when. Oh wow! Um, when she was, oh, and, so the baby was like spanking new coming yes. home to Theo Mo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, I was there. I was so there. So basically, throughout. you raised her too. Yeah. yeah. Um, her and part of the. And her second one up until she was about, oh, just uh, the, the second one was she was about a few months. Wow. Um, when they when they finally but so so the first one like, I was there her first three years. Oh. Um. So she's known. So so it's like her. So it's like I'm still like she remembers me like the most yeah no. and she remembers the quality time i spent a lot and i spoiled her a lot to this day <laughs> as you should as you should yeah. there's nothing yeah. wrong with that no now growing but, um, up mo how was your life growing up um you I said was, your parents work double sometimes to support yes. you guys so it sounds like you and your sister were really yes tight. yeah i i have Real quick, um, how old were you? Oh, well, not you were born and raised in Florida, but what about your sister? She's older than you, right? Yes. Uh, was she born or did she get raised in Haiti? Or when did your parents me and get her were here? Both, or um, me and her were both born here. Okay. Um, oh, okay. So my my parents, well, my parents, they met in Haiti. Okay. Um, and they and just came to here. they came here. They got married here. Oh. Um. They this is it. Um, they dated for not 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 even dated, just courted. Um, oh. for a long yes, wow. <laughs> that's the answer. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, so was it dad not trying to give in? Um, my mom had very protective brothers and sisters. Oh, uh, okay, protective. okay, that makes and sense. She has so many, right? Yes. She had yeah, she had how many? Thirteen. <laughs> yeah, like I think it was nine brothers and five sisters. Yeah. Yes. Uh, if I was your dad, I'd be like, oh, "Okay, let's take it slow." Can I, <laughs> yeah. Can I tell you guys something funny? 
<laughs> so my parents met when they were when they were kids. Like they were neighborhood um como se dice? like they were neighbors. Friends. Yeah, they okay. were neighbors. My okay. grandparents knew each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so my my grandparents lost everything. My family's from Leon, Guanajuato, both sides. My mm -hmm. grandfather on my mom's side, he lost his fortune. One of his accountants ended up robbing all of his money. And so they had to move to Tijuana. And my dad came to Tijuana to try to find a better opportunity of work and trying to see if he can cross the border into San Diego. And, um, and he saw my mom again. And so he was like, okay, you know, and so he started like courting her. And my mom is. Wait, wait in Tijuana? In Tijuana. Like in Leon, no, 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 no. In Tijuana. Oh, into each other. Yes. That's crazy. Yes. Whoa. That's crazy. So um, my mom is number seven out of 13 kids. So she had older brothers, older sisters. And my dad says that obviously every time he would go and like ask if he could take her out to like a dance or something, my grandma would be like, oh, your your brother has to go with you. The one that was right above her there. They were all a year you, apart. You need a chaperone. Yes. <laughs> Which I also was a chaperone to my sister's dates. So. Uh, see, see. <laughs> and so um, my dad says that my uncle, you know, rest in peace. He passed away in the 90s um my uncle would be like bro just give me two dollars i'll go get myself tacos go enjoy the movie with her i don't care <laughs> like he, he's like he would sell your mom for tacos like <laughs> what? and that the is dj around that time is yes cheap. yes girl <laughs> in the 70s no, I would sell my whoever for tacos too any day like this. I mean, I can't blame my tío. So, yeah. um, so yeah. So my mom goes, yeah, your dad was not proposing to me after a year of being friends. He wasn't even like saying that we were boyfriend and girlfriend. So I had to propose to him. And I was like, wait, what? What? <laughs> I had never maybe known your that. Mom invented, maybe your mom invented the whole woman proposing to men because they started making more regular. <laughs> yeah, had a lot to do with that. But my mom was basically like, "Okay, everybody thinks we're boyfriend and girlfriend, and you're kind of burning me out in the streets. So either you propose <laughs> or this is over." <laughs> Damn! Isn't that crazy? Uh, yeah, I'm like, uh, 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 sir. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So he was like, "All right, let's get married." Okay, <laughs> we're gonna get married. Like, wow. Aww. Yeah, my, I think my my dad, he, he, it was, I was. I don't even. I don't. I still don't even remember the full story, and, and trying to connect the dots on how they got. Married, I'm like, she's because uh, my mom is seven years younger than my oh, father. Okay, cool. And Dad. they met at and they had met at church. Mm. Oh, cute, cute. I, although now this is a speculation. Maybe the the brothers and sisters were very overprotective because my dad was from a, a northern part of Haiti, which is more like the countryside and. Um, my mom, her family, they lived in the capital. Oh. Which okay. is speculation, but Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that would it would that it would be one of the reasons. Oh, and okay. But but then they really I think they really took it serious when they were in America. Mm. And they had they had got married there. Um although I'm still kind of I'm still kind of wondering to my dad, I'm like, then where's Where's my brother Herbie coming from? How did your brother come up? Like, I don't know. <laughs> I think that's a question brother, for his dad, my, not for him. My, yeah, because my, my brother is five years older than me. Oh, wow. Okay. So oh, only two wait. years older than your sister. Yes. Right. And he was already... Oh, Dad! We need to have a conversation, Dad. Mo, he's, he's my my dad is a smooth guy. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, he's a I very can see where you talker. get the smoothness yeah, from, Big Mo. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The, so sorry, sorry. So another good question: <laughs> Is your full name Moises? 
Yes. Moises. Okay. It's, it's actually I love now, it. which is an interesting, it's an interesting dynamic because the actual pronunciation is Moses. Moses, yeah. But um these days I'm actually more comfortable with Moises. Moises. Wow. Oh, you're embracing your Latin. Yeah. Well, not your Latin, but your Spanish well, speaking, your, you know. I'm gonna be a little honest here. Okay. okay because yeah. of um some of the women of my past. Okay. Who were very Latina. Oh. Uh, Ooh, and he likes I just, it spicy. And he likes and, it yeah. spicy. And I used to love the way they pronounced Moises. Moises. So that's yeah. why, <laughs> yes. Exactly. Exact. I'm like, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so to this day, I'm actually I'm I'm more comfortable with Moises. Oh wow. <laughs> well, we love having you on this it's side. Honest- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Honestly. Honestly, in both, it's a beautiful name. Moses, Moises, it's a beautiful yes. name. It's, yes. a, it's a masculine name. It's great. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I love it. So, um, and as he pours his Gatorade chocolate, <laughs> oh, he's so cute. You are so, so cute. cute. <laughs> I, I really, I really be doing. That. <laughs> yeah, I, I, even I wonder why I do it, but. Then, <laughs> <laughs> hey, and I don't, even, I don't even drink. If it makes you happy, friend, I, I support this. If it makes yeah, you happy, I've never been by once. <laughs> and, and so now, um, also, because even going back to a previous question, you know, I'm how I'm so used to, you know, having, you know, just fans and from Latin America and. Even around, even around South Florida is super Latino, like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. super. <laughs> so yeah, e- even, yeah. even, even past jobs I've had where yeah, I'm like, Puerto I'm, Rican people, I, Cubans. Yep. Yeah, I'm, I'm used to working with people who don't even know English, mm-hmm. but I'm working with them all the time, which is also another reason why I'm used to Moises. Mm. You know, so for some people when I'm, when they're asking me, I'm going to say, I'm a, I just to make things easier. I say Moises. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's just you know, like, oh, because there's I love it. Yeah. Some of these co-workers, they don't know any English. Yeah. But I'm, I'm, they're we're, not going to say Moises. They're, exactly. They're going to be like, oh, Moises. Exactly. You know? they they have that, ah, even yeah. if your name yeah. is, okay. is not translatable into Spanish, we'll make they it Spanish somehow. It Spanish. Yeah. <laughs> like Brandon, I have a nephew, I have a cousin named Brandon. My my uncle did not speak. Uh, uh, rest in peace. He's already passed too, but he did not know an ounce of English. So I'm like, you name your son Brandon, 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 <laughs> Brandon. <laughs> Ven aquí, Brandon. <laughs> I think I think that's my biggest pet peeve in the Mexican yeah. culture. And I'm so sorry, Bellas, if you're listening and you have a cousin, a nephew, somebody, a brother named Brian. Name your, Brian name and his Ryan. Brian. Yeah. Ooh. Brian or Brian. Yeah. Oh, that's oh, my where biggest does it come from? Oh, Brian. Yeah. I'm like, is they, like these names even child. Spaniard? Like what? No, cool. they're not. Like, no, they're not. Well, it's like, and the funny thing is, it's like they're... Brian Perez. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it's the I most mean, annoying thing. Working in healthcare for 15 years, that was my biggest pet peeve. I once had a lady call <laughs> and she was like, Yeah, tengo que hacerle una cita a mi hijo, Ryan. And I was like, Ryan, right? That's what I heard. Oh, pero es Brian. No, pero but, but Ryan. she kept saying, Ryan, Ryan Gonzalez. <laughs> and I'm like, Right. And I'm like, maybe she spelled it different. Oh, man, I was struggling for like five minutes. And then finally I was like, ma'am, me lo puede deletrear, meaning, you know, can you spell it out for me? And she's like, B-R-I-A-N, Ryan. And I was like, <laughs> oh, my God, ma'am. What? That's not how you say it. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm like, she wrote, but she did the R with the roll, but right. Like, Ryan, what? the B was non existent in. The, how, how does the B not exist? What, how do you forget the B? You named it. You came with the name. Thank you. The, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm sorry, I agree with it, but if you're going to name your child, like if me, like for example, I'm bilingual. I named my son Chris, okay? Chris in Espanol. Mm-hmm. But. I made sure because my mom does not speak English. My mother-in-law, my ex-mother-in-law didn't speak English. So therefore, I got to make sure I name a child that my mom's going to be able to say without butchering it. <laughs> You're not going to name him oh, Harold. Oh, Harold. Uh, right? Yeah. My, my, oh, sorry. Twinsy. No, no, no. Go for it. No, no, no. I was, no, yes, please go Twinsy. for it. No, well, I was going to say, I was going to name him like, I forgot uh, the name of them, and I'm like, oh no, my mom's gonna butcher that. <laughs> so I, <laughs> yeah. So to this, yeah. And to this day, I've never heard my parents correctly pronounce my sister's name. What's what your sister's name? name? Cynthia. And what? Do, how do they say it? They're like Cynthia. Cynthia. Oh, Cynthia. <laughs> They're like Cynthia. <laughs> And I even pronounce it that way. I don't even. I don't even say Cynthia. I say Cynthia. <laughs> so it doesn't like, even have the H. The H. No, doesn't... the H. Yeah, no. <laughs> the, it, it doesn't. It doesn't. Ha- the H doesn't happen. <laughs> wow. No, not even. Not even. The N barely happens. Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Like so, my cousin, uh, my cousin Teres' kids. Well, but but they're half oh, white. Yeah. Darren yeah. and Alyssa. My whole and entire family. Darin. 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 <laughs> like it's Darren, mm-hmm. not Darin. Poor and, guy. Poor guy. So I'm like, where, I'm like, and so in my mind, I'm like, where did you get that? In my mind, I'm like, where'd you get the spelling? Where do you name this and come up with the spelling? You, I've never to this day, my 31 years on this earth, I've never heard my parents pronounce it the way the spelling intended it to be. <laughs> you should ask them. Never. You should. I, I should. <laughs> you should ask them. You oh, know what man. I was going to add to that? Uh, my son is going to spell different. His name is not Christian. His name is not Christopher. His name is Chris. Like, but you spell it K H R I Z as in zebra. Mind you, before you guys picture me, <laughs> my son's dad named him Chris. I named him Xavier or Javier. And so his name is Chris Xavier. But oh. yeah, his spelling is K H R I Z as in zebra. He belongs in the Kardashian well, family. The- Oh, <laughs> nobody can nobody can spell his name. Nobody, Quincy. Did you know that? No. Did you know I mean, when you texted enough? me the other day, I, oh. I wrote Chris like regular Chris, and then she wrote yeah. it back with the K. I was like, "Ooh, sorry." What? what? No, uh, I don't mind. It's so funny because he's he so had confused. Big Mo's confused. Because I'm. Bea, I know this was a really long conversation and we barely scratched the surface with Big Mo, but please make sure you tune in next week for the second half of this interview. I promise it is worth the wait. We will see you next week. Do not forget to follow Big Mo at B-I-G-M-O underscore B-I-T-W. See you next week.